A week ago, I gave you some tips on how to use a class notebook with your students. And so I promised in that video that I would talk a little bit more about the difference between OneNote and class notebook. Um, when we use the terminology, what are we talking about? I mean, class notebook is part of OneNote, is it not? Yes, but there are differences. So let's just dig in a touch to that. This video isn't meant to go through all of class notebook. It's just to kind of give you an overview of the differences between OneNote and Class Notebook. And then in future videos, I'll talk about how I use Class Notebook and so on. So let's just start off with a little bit of history. So let's go back in time. Microsoft goes and creates this program called OneNote. And OneNote really is designed to be a kind of an ebook type of format for keeping all your notes. It's meant to have kind of pages and folders, which we call sections. And then inside that, you can embed things like you can put videos and you can attach documents or you can embed documents and you can add text and it can be um, all of that was meant to be stored on your own computer and then they came along and they came off with Office 365 and that became more cloud-based so instead of storing the notebook locally on your computer it was stored in the cloud which meant that now I could share my notebooks when I shared a notebook I shared everything within that notebook and a person could just view it or they could edit it that was basically the choices we had then they came along and decided to create class notebooks class notebooks was meant to be for the classroom it is meant for the classroom and what they wanted to do is they wanted to have different sections, part of it available to students, part of it available to everybody, part of it available to just the teacher, and so on. And so they created class notebooks, and that is what we're going to be looking at a little bit today. So if I open up OneNote and I create a class notebook, it will look very similar to this. It will have some different sections to it. It'll have a welcome section. Um, you don't need to keep that. You can, I do, I have a welcome page. Um, and then in here you also have the collaboration space and the content library. Now, to break down, the, there's actually one other section, but break down the difference between these two. Collaboration space means that just like the old OneNote notebooks, um, you can share and have anybody come in and edit and add things and stuff. So if I go to collaboration space, this is a section. Uh, a student could come along and create a new section. They could create new pages. They could edit pages. They could delete pages. I could do the same thing. Anybody could go in and do this stuff. So why do I, how do I use the collaboration space? Why do I use it? I use it as group work. So I'll put uh, partners together in here and they can work on stuff, knowing of course that other students can see their work as well too and could possibly delete it. So we have to make sure that we are being um, careful in how we use that space, but a very effective space to use. So then um, there's the content library. Content library is like a library in the sense that the teachers in charge and putting the stuff on there students can read it but it's read only they can't edit it they can't delete it they can't add new sections they can't add new pages so you can post stuff like i post my course outline on here my calendar of uh, assignments and so on students can't edit it but they can read it one other thing they can also do is they can go in and they can for example copy that as well okay so um, that is what we have for the content library then what you also see is, I don't have in this demonstration one, but you would also see a list of students behind here. A student logging in would only see their own name. A teacher sees all of the students as separate sections. So what that is, is that's a section, a student section, where the student can actually have, can create stuff. They can add sections, they can add pages, they can do stuff. So can the teacher, but no one else can even see it. Um, and so the teacher sees all of the sections. The student only sees when they land there, their own section, the content library, the collaboration space, for example. And so when I'm working in the class, for, uh, I will do things like, for example, I'll post stuff in the content library. Students can all go to the content library and click on things and read things and watch videos and whatever. Or I might distribute things to different groups because I can distribute things to individual students or groups of students. And then that way, I, when I'm, they're doing group work, they can go to their own sections and be able to read or watch the videos or do whatever it is that I have there. So that, that's one of the things you can get into. So let's talk about the class notebook for a second here. Um, first, backing up, there are online versions of, of OneNote there, and then you can access them through your app on your computer, like a Windows or a Mac, or you can access it through a tablet or through a phone. Now, the apps are all slightly different to each other. For a teacher, I would recommend either using the browser-based, kind of scale down, or install the program on their computer. That's the best function. Or use a tablet. I actually use a tablet in the classroom, and then I use this when I'm sitting in my desk. 
Uh, the browser-based one I use if I'm on a computer that I don't own, for example, in the classroom, and I haven't installed the program or whatever, I then just use the browser-based version. Students either use the browser-based version again or on their own computers install the app. But more than anything, I have them do it on their phone because I have some. I used to have them install the app on their phone so we can do stuff in class together. So, in that particular case, um, in the class notebook, there is for the teacher. There's a class notebook tab where I can actually do things like distribute a page to a student. In other words, that's like handing out stuff. I can distribute a whole section, so a folder of stuff to individual students or everybody. I can actually distribute a content library sections to other class notebooks. So in other words, I have multiple classes with the same one. I can distribute the content library to those. I can review student work. So in other words, mark it. I can quickly go through and mark stuff. Um, but then also you notice there's this create class notebooks and stuff. That all goes through the online version. So let's go see the online version for a second. So here it is. The students would log in or I would log in and get to Office 365. And you'll notice there's both a OneNote button and a class notebook tab. OneNote gives you the list of all your notebooks, and you can click on those and open them up. Notice that this one here is the same, and actually as I scroll through, I'm going to see the same stuff that's in here that I see on my uh, app-based version because they synchronize. Now, the other one that I was talking about was Class Notebook. In there, there's the Class Notebook section where I can create a Class Notebook, I can add or remove students, I can even add or remove teachers to a class, and I can manage notebooks, like I can in managing notebooks, one of the things I can do is I can open up a new section called the teacher section. And so I just enable the teacher only section group. And when I do that, now I have another section that appears in my notebook that is only visible to me as the teacher. And in there I can actually pre-set up stuff um, and I can have it, I'm just gonna refresh this page, I can actually start pre-setting up homework assignments and each week and all that stuff and then just moving it out of there to the other section so teachers can see it. So here's my teacher only section here. So that's basic nutshell of what Class Notebook is. There's so much more to it and I want to go into more about what I do with it, how I work with it, but I wanted to make sure you understood the basic difference between OneNote, Class Notebooks and what it can do. As I go through, I want to actually take you through um, new videos about um, things like, for example, how I add content, how I distribute pages, how I mark stuff, how I do different things, what I do with classes in regards to using the phones and stuff with the students. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. But in the future videos, hopefully I'll be able to answer some of those for you. Thanks.